Hey guys, this is going to be my review on the Armadillo Cube. This is a Rubik's Cube inspired puzzle that I got given by Grant Prestige at Cuban Classic 2016. And there were many people who got this cube. I was one of the people that had the opportunity to test this cube. From my experience playing with it, it was very nice. So this is the business card that I got given along with this cube. So Grand Prestige Armadillo Cube, this is the logo. There's information there. In the back you've got many different orientations of the cube and an experience the game changer. This is a really nice card. And the cube, the most important thing. The packaging is very nice, it's in a clear kind of box. And the cube is kind of offset, so it's like a, on a stand. And you get a tutorial kind of here. Starter, getting tricky, brain strain, brain burst, pull all apart to reset. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of funny though. And then bottom stuff in there. Now let's get onto the cube. Cube comes in this little plastic stand. Not really stand, but it keeps in place. And then the cube comes out like that. So the first thing I noticed about this cube is how many colors it's got. It's got 12 colors. Each edge has a different color. It's not like on a regular Rubik's Cube, how you see there's four greens, like, say for edges, there's four greens, four yellows, and you've got four blues. Every color is very different. There's one edge, one color, one edge, one color, one edge, one color. Edge right here, the yellow, this is both sides of the edge is yellow. And then you have yellow here, and then you have yellow here. So that tells you the edge fits in there. And then this blue edge fits in there. There's two types of blue, they're right next to each other. You got blue, and then you got teal right here. But the colors look really nice, and they are, you can tell the difference between each color. But the real challenge of this is trying to figure out where the edges go. So there's no real orientation of the edges when you start off solving this, but you you do have to align the edges with their center. So the way the centers go, this is basically a super cube. So a regular super cube would have arrows or something. So each arrow is facing the same direction. But this is each edge goes in between its center. And then each corner goes in that way too. It's just like a regular Rubik's Cube, but with a challenge. Taking the cube apart, you can see that the mechanism is very blocky and basic. You can see this. Sorry about the lighting. You can see here that the cube is very blocky. The plastic is really thin, but it's not cheap at all. And then the corner. This would look like a, any Rubik's Cube with a basic mechanism, but this cube turns very well for what it is. It's not a speed cube, but it turns very well for what it is. So there are people with really fast times on this cube. There are people that done it in 30 seconds, there are people that done it in 40 seconds. My personal best is 45. So solving this puzzle may get time to get used to, but I average a minute on this. Solving this puzzle is very fun. I recommend solving getting this puzzle when it comes out. This cube will go out for about 20 or 30 dollars. This cube I can see will be a big success in the cubing community. I admire this cube being handed out by Grant at a Rubik's Cube competition because that is where a lot of speed cubers are. This cube will be passed around. Uh, Fletcher Cutting gave me this cube like to test out, but I also got my own the next day. This is nothing like I have seen. This cube is very nice. I really recommend it for everyone. It's very fun to play with. The shape of it is really cool. The turning is decent enough to turn. It's not like a regular like Rubik's brand where the cube is very very hard to control, but this is this is very turning is absolutely amazing for what this cube is. I will have a soul video coming up next. I really recommend getting, getting this cube when it comes out. Um, hopefully, it comes out on Speed Cube. That's what I really want to happen. It's very fun puzzle to solve. I really love it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for Grant for giving me this cube. It's very fun, and goodbye.